I'm joined now from the Wirral by the Shadow Work and Pensions Secretary, Margaret Greenwood. Uh, uh, Margaret Greenwood, thank you very much indeed uh, for joining us. Uh, first of all, what do you make of uh, our report there about so-called deflection scripts, uh, sending people away from phone conversations and back onto the internet? This is a really shocking report. Uh, you know, the idea that somebody who's claiming universal credit, who needs help, has called the DWP office is then to be deflected, uh, to, in other words, to, to avoid answering the questions it is really shocking. You know, if somebody calls the government department looking for help and looking for support, then they need it. Universal credit has been absolutely beset with problems right from the beginning. And it's very clear it's been designed by people and implemented by a government that's very out of touch with people's lives. Um, the insistence that people use online systems, that they complete an online journal, is really unfair because uh, lots of people struggle to do that. We know about a quarter of claims aren't comp completed successfully, and it's highly likely that a lot of those people are simply aren't able to use the internet. So this is a really shocking that, you know, when people ring up for support, instead they're being deflected back online. At the same time, it's impossible to deny, really, isn't it, that so much of... Uh, daily life and daily bureaucracy is shifting onto the internet. You know, there's no problem at all with giving people the option. That that's obviously makes sense, doesn't it? Because, you know, in this day and age, people can access the internet in all sorts of different ways. But it's the insistence that that's the way people have to do it that's the real problem. When you look at the numbers of people who really struggle with the internet, a lot of people struggle to read and write, you know. And you have to remember that the people likely to, uh, very often if somebody needs to access support and is, is phoning up, it's because they, they are struggling with those things. And that can be anybody for any number of reasons. So it it might be someone who has difficulties, but it might equally be somebody who's worked for the last 20 years in a job that doesn't involve anything to do with the internet. They've got no interest in the internet. They should be able to have alternative ways of claiming uh, what they're entitled to. Are the problems with universal credit the way it's being implemented, or is it the principle? Because, of course, Labour did once support that principle. Mm. So nobody's going to disagree with the idea of simplifying the benefit system. Of course, you would want to see that happen. I think the real problem has been in the very many deep flaws in the, in the program that the government came up with. So it's fraught with problems. So for example, designing a system where people have to wait five weeks before they receive a payment uh, says to me that that's been designed by a government that is really out of touch with the realities of working people's lives. That assistance on the internet, as I've said, the things about you know not making payments directly to landlords, there's all sorts of problems with it. And so everybody would agree you'd want to simplify the benefit system, but uh, this is beset with problems it's also become very punitive so instead of supporting people when they need support it's actually punishing people so we're having stories of people being sanctioned for really minor infringements and um, this this is completely unacceptable you know there was a major study on the impact of sanctions the sanctions regime carried out by six UK universities and they found that it has a really bad effect on people's well-being on their health and uh, you know and, and really doesn't do anything to help people secure permanent good jobs